expect the next about three and a half days. This takes us through Sunday morning, uh, an inch to an inch and a half here in the western valleys of Oregon, two inches or so along the coast. Heaviest rain will be in Northern California. The areas in red get more than two inches, and you can see some spots get more than two inches. Once again, like Drew just mentioned, uh, Los Angeles, maybe an inch or so. So this will just be bad because it's on top of the saturated ground. Uh, yeah, just never good. So uh, it looks like after the weekend, things might slow down there, at least for a while. So that'll be good news. For us, rain intensity index, it's barely umbrella worthy. I'm going to say it isn't because tomorrow is just this light off and on rain. And in fact, it's interesting. Tomorrow, more of the rain will be in the West Metro than the East Metro. I'll show you why in a second. Mild and wet continues. That's what's next. No break from the rain in sight. But luckily, no flooding, no heavy rain. We just don't see that in at least the next week. Now, we do see a little change next week. We've had above normal temps. It's been warmer than average the last few days. Uh, temps may back down into the 40s, though. That's typical for January. And that would bring snow, significant snow, back to the Cascades. But we think that's still five or six days away. There's still no sign of lowland cold or snow. I know we're, that's a big thing we're always watching for here in the winter west of the mountains. Could we get in a snowy pattern or cold, really cold stuff? I don't see that through at least the 20th and maybe beyond. So 40s tonight west of the Cascades, 30s east of the Cascades. And tomorrow, that means for the kids, just kind of this drippy rain in the morning. The kids, I mean, they'll probably be in shorts and a T-shirt and they'll just run under the bus. Um, light rain and mild, 44 degrees. If you want to do it proper, though, of course, you'd have a rain jacket, I suppose. Uh, afternoon temperature about 51 degrees. So here's the deal. Here's the rain forecast. And you can see how the, what we call an atmospheric river again aimed at Northern California, but it's kind of moving this way along the coastline. Look at tomorrow, middle of the day. Yeah, maybe a break. And then most of the rain seems to want to stay west of I-5, the coast range and the coast. Notice how little makes it on the east side of the valley. And that's into Friday too and into Eastern Oregon. Finally, late in the day Friday, it does all push through. But uh, during that time, most of the rain will have been west of I-5. Also, then the system tries to come in Saturday afternoon. That could give us a brief break at some point during the daytime on Saturday. So rain at times tomorrow. It's all pretty light. I know this looks pretty gloomy. I doubt we'll see the sun tomorrow. 51. East winds gust to 25. And then the seven-day forecast will. Um, we got a chance for rain every day. More than a chance. It should rain every day. Saturday's rain looks a little lighter. Sunday's rain looks a little bit more. Uh, drier on Monday, but not dry. Drier. Uh, and then we think we see a more substantial system in here Tuesday, Wednesday. It's still almost a week out, but notice the high temperature is cool. Big story, three-day weekend, MLK weekend. It's going to be a mixture of rain, a few brief dry periods, and above normal temperatures. Real